Today I'm going to show you how to basically create your own SEO tools with ChatGPT for free using bookmarklets without needing to code or do any technical stuff so you can automate a lot of your SEO tasks and 10 to 100x your productivity and essentially make any SEO tool you need and this will save you time plus help you achieve more so you can apply it to basically anything you do, not just SEO, but also personal tasks, work-related stuff. And by the way, this video was inspired by Steve Toff, SEO genius, and his newsletter, seonerbook.com, is really good. So what are the point of these bookmarklets? Essentially, you can create your own SEO tools and shortcuts to save a lot of time and automate the boring stuff that nobody likes doing in SEO. If you have a team as well, this augments their repetitive work to the point where they can achieve more in less time, plus you can customize it a lot. So you can literally just tell ChatGPT what you want, and for now you don't need to rely on finding the right Chrome extension, and it only takes one prompt. Let me show you an example. You can get an SEO tool to basically copy all the headings on the page so that when you're creating outlines for content, you can scrape all your competitors quickly and then copy and paste that into a document. So you can say it's chat GPT-4, and I would recommend GPT-4 because it codes a bit better. And you say, create a bookmarklet that scrapes my competitors' headings from the page and then copies them to my clipboard. And now what it's gonna do is give you the instructions, create the code, and it's gonna look a little bit technical. But don't worry about that because it's very easy. You don't need to be a technical genius to do this. So what you can do is hit copy code like this, create a new bookmark, let's call it headings, click edit, go to URL, and paste in your JavaScript code like that. So it's literally a copy and paste method. And then if you go to your competitor's page, you hit this bookmark over here, it copies all the headings to your clipboard, and then you just paste them in. And you can paste them straight into your content outline, as simple as that, it takes two seconds. And then you can rinse and repeat this over and over again. And you can give it to your team if they're creating content outlines for you. And then if you were creating your own content outline, what you do is you just go through the top pages for your keyword, which you've typed into Google over here, pick the relevant ones, and then you can just scrape all of them by copying and pasting all the headings into a clipboard, right? So you rinse and repeat, paste them in, do it again, 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 and there you go. You got all your headings nicely sorted. And then what you could even do is ask ChatGPT to take all those headings that you've created and put them into an organized outline for you. You could say to ChatGPT, based on the headings below, create a content outline that's neatly organized for my keyword bird symbol. And now it's gonna take that big list of headings that you got from all of your competitors and put it into a neatly organized outline that you could quickly create content with, whether you're using ChatGPT like mobile SEO tutorials or even tools like Jasper. You paste them in and it's very neatly organized as you can see. And the fantastic thing about this is extremely basic. You don't need any coding experience. You don't need to pay for any tools. There's no technical expertise required. And it sounds fancy, but you're literally just copying and pasting. Even my grandma could do this. So it's very simple. We're gonna look through lots more use cases of this. So you can create a whole batch of SEO tools that you can use to scale up your work, 100x your productivity, and get more achieved in less time. Next up, we could create a bookmarkler on how to highlight all the internal and external links on the page so that we can quickly scan through either our content or our competitor's content to see where we've linked out to and what external links and internal links are on the page. This is good because you can audit your site, you can audit other sites, and you can quickly see, have I added enough internal links? Have they added more internal links than me? Which sources are they linking out to? And should I be linking to those too? So we'll paste that in like this and we'll wait for it to load. And whilst that's loading, if you press Command and D if you're on a Mac, you can create the bookmarklet straight away just with a shortcut. We'll type this one as highlight internal and external links. And now we'll copy the code, right click edit, paste it into the URL, hit save. Let's take an article about backlinks. And if we hit highlight internal and external links, what you'll see is that it highlights all the internal links as yellow, Keep scrolling down the page so you can see exactly where all the internal links are. Plus you can see the anchor text as well, it's very easy to see. And then additionally, you can see where this site is linked out to. So you can see the external links and they're highlighted in orange. It just highlights throughout the page where the internal links are, where they're placed, what anchor texts are being used. Same for external links, we'll keep scrolling down. And you can see how easy it is to create these bookmarklets. And in a way, 
It's faster actually creating these tools than looking for Chrome extensions and you can customize it and personalize it to exactly how you want them to be, which means you'll save a lot of time, you'll get more productivity and you can just create a whole tool set like a Swiss army knife for SEO. And let's be honest, chances are, if you're watching this, you're probably smarter than me and you can figure out way more creative use cases for this. So whatever type of SEO you're doing, technical, on-page optimization, whether it's link building, there's a tool that you could create with ChatGPT very easily for pretty much everything you can think of when it comes to SEO. You could also use this for keyword density checking. So if you want to check the density of a keyword on a page and see what percentage or how many times you need to mention a keyword on a page to figure out what keyword density you should include in your content, you can easily do that by asking ChatGPT. And going back to Steve Toff's article, he's actually got a prompt for keyword density down here. So what we can do, Let's copy that. We'll create a new bookmarklet, keyword density, edit, paste in the code. And let's give it a whirl, see if this works. So if we check a competitor's article for this page again, we want to select the keywords. So we need to highlight the keyword that we want to check the keyword density of. So we'll select it like that, hit KD over here. And you can see that it actually gives us a keyword density for the keyword with a percentage. Let's try another one. So if we go on this article that's ranking number one for SEO keyword, we'll highlight the text that we want to check the keyword density of, and then you get a percentage keyword density for the page. So you know, right, to rank for this keyword, ideally, the keyword density should be around 1% for that keyword. And you could even take an average of your top three competitors, see who's ranking, reverse engineer their keyword density, so you know exactly how many keywords to include on your page too. And then you've got a way more scientific way of doing on-page optimization for SEO. And let's be honest, right? Most of the time with SEO, you're just clicking buttons. You're clicking buttons on a screen, and if you've seen my other videos, you know this. So this automates a lot of the work for you, and previously, this would be so time-consuming with our ChatGPT because you have to either write the code, or you have to hire a JavaScript developer to do it for you. You go back and forth, it takes time, maybe the code doesn't work sometimes, you figure out the bugs, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, you wasted a week creating a tool that with ChatGPT, you could create one in a minute, like I'm showing you right now. And quite often when you're hiring a developer as well, you don't really know what they're capable of unless you have a lot of experience with it, right? So the gap between what's your idea and what they can actually do can be quite large. Whereas with ChatGPT, you can easily ask it in one prompt, right, I've got this idea for a bookmark or an SEO tool, can you execute it or not? And it will give you a yes or no answer. It'll probably give you the code straight away as well. If you're struggling for some ideas, you could actually ask GPT-4, what bookmarklets can you create that will help me speed up and save time with SEO? So let's try it, right? What bookmarklets can you create to help me save time with SEO? We'll wait for it to load, skip through. And now it's come back to me with an answer. And here we have eight different ideas for SEO tools we could create very quickly. And we've even got the code under each one that we could quickly paste in. So for example, let's say you're a link builder and you've built this link, the website's got back to you, but you're not sure, is the link do follow or no follow? Because if it's no follow, then it doesn't really bring any value to your site. And therefore you want to tell the website owner to update it. So what you can do, copy this code, we'll create a new bookmarklet. Let's put that in here, put the code in, Okay, now we're going to hit no follow. Let's take a look at a site that no follows most of their links. So we can go on entrepreneur.com. And if we scroll down the page, even in the first paragraph, we hit no follow on our link. Then we can see quickly that there's a red box around all the no follow links on the page. And you can see which ones do follow as well. Now, if you've got this article where you've built the link, but it's no follow, you can just easily go back to the website owner. You could even create an email with ChatGPT that says, hey, this link is no follow. Here are the reasons I think you should make it do follow. You reply to the website owner and all of it is automated with AI. So we're just going AI mental now. So the craziest thing with ChatGPT is that, yes, it's good for creating content. Yes, it's good for creating meta tags, but also it's amazing for coding and creating all the tools that you need to execute most of the daily repetitive research as well. And let's be honest, the possibilities of what you can do with this tool are just going to keep expanding. Next up, let's create a meta tag analyzer. 
So what you could do is create a bookmarklet that would scan the HTML code of a website, display the meta tags used on the page, including the title tag or description tag and keyword tag. And this can be very powerful for website owners, web developers, and digital marketers for a few reasons, right? Let me explain. But first, let's create the tool. So here we go, create the meta tag analyzer. And whilst it's loading, let's talk about the other benefits. So meta tags, such as a title tag and description tag, provide information to search engines about the content of your web page. So by analyzing the meta tags of a web page, you as a website owner, you can ensure that your content is optimized for search engines and it's therefore more likely to appear in search results. Plus, you can analyze other competitors and then see what they're doing to rank their site with the meta tags and use that in your own site too. So let's give it a whirl pop in the code here. So let's type in SEO strategy, take a random page. And if we hit meta tag analyzer like this, it gives us a breakdown of the meta title, the description and the keywords on the page. Now you can see the keywords is not filled in. It's not really a relevant meta tag anymore, but just by looking at the title and description, you know what's working for this competitor so you can apply it to your own site too. And you can see if you were trying to rank for this article, which probably is an extremely competitive term, so I wouldn't recommend it. But if you're just doing keyword research in general, you can see opportunities like this is a 2022 article. If you updated yours to 2023, plus created a more clickable description, then there's an opportunity to outrank this site, ignoring other factors like backlinks and everything else. And overall, this meta tag analyzer can help you optimize your website's SEO, improve your website search engine visibility, and just gain insights into your competitor strategies. Here's an idea, right? Why not get all of these tools and then put them into one clickable button that gives you all the data on the page straight away, ready to go. For example, analyzing the internal and external links, highlighting the nofollow, and checking the meta tags on the page all in one click of a button using a bookmarklet. So let's try this prompt. Give me a bookmarklet that shows me the headings on the page, highlights nofollow links, and breaks down the meta tags for that page. And let's see if it works. We'll call this one everything. And it's doing some serious thinking here. You can see the code is getting longer and longer. All right, and now we've got the JavaScript ready to go. Quite a long one, this one. So let's pop it into our everything and see what it does. I don't know what's gonna happen. It could work, it could not. So let's check if it works. We'll go back to our article with the nofollow links. Hit everything. And now we've got a breakdown of the H1 tags, H2 tags, we've got the outline. If we hit okay, then we've also got the meta tags like that. And additionally, we've got the no follow links highlighted as well. So very quickly, you can create this huge SEO tool that's basically like the Swiss army knife of SEO and does everything in one go with on-page optimization. And this is crazy because previously, I had no idea how to do any of this. I didn't even know what bookmarkers were. And now in the space of less than half an hour, we've got this crazy tool that does everything. Let's try another one, right? Let's try a bookmark look that would allow you to check whether your content is indexed by Google. So let's paste in the prompt here. Here's the interesting thing, right? If you use GPT 3.5, it actually refuses to create a Google index checker. Doesn't want to do it. Fair enough. But GPT 4 does allow us to do this. So if we copy this code, we'll create the index checker. We'll go back to one of our articles. And if we hit the index checker like this, we can actually check Google's cache version of this article to see when it was last indexed and what the page looked like previously when it was indexed. So you can see this page. So here's the interesting thing. Number one, you can check if your article is indexed. Great, useful when you create new content. But also, if you've updated a page and you want to know, has Google indexed my changes and updated the content that I had on my site? Now you can easily do it in a click of a button. Rather than checking it manually, searching for the page, searching through Google, figuring out how to do that. It's all there ready to go. So why would you want this? First of all, you can instantly check the index in status. You can check easy access with a single click. You don't have to do any Googling. You can monitor the site visibility of your page on Google. You can identify any indexing problems. The possibilities are endless and there's many benefits to checking this. And everything that we're doing today is all about being time efficient because as a business owner or a site owner, you only have so much time, right? So if you can speed everything up that you're doing and rather than just clicking a million buttons or trying to use all your mental energy to figure things out, if you have bookmarks to everything you need to do, it all gets simpler. And if you have a team of writers, all of a sudden, you don't really need to train them. 
You just need to tell them how to click a button and how to set up a bookmark. Very simple. And if you're checking your team's work or your own work and you're trying to figure out what do I need to improve on this page, you can use things like the meta tag analyzer to check has this page been optimized properly? What can we improve? And has the work been done correctly? Now we're running out of space here, but you could easily create a folder for each of these bookmarks to organize it properly. So what about opportunities for improving your topical authority? Let's say you've got a super hard keyword like birds. Crazy hard, you know the first page that is ranking for this, that's niche relevant, is the authority. So you can see all about birds, .org is the authority on BERTS. Makes sense. Now, if they've got topical authority, then how can we achieve that too? You could check their sitemap, scrape it, and then bridge the gap between where they are and the content you need to create. And even if you improve the margin of gap by 10 or 20%, then your site's topical authority and therefore rankings and traffic is all going to increase. So let's try it. So this also depends on where the sitemap is located on the site. But if we check through these pages, we might not get them all, but we'll get some of them. So if we hit sitemap for that, doesn't work. Doesn't work. There's no XML file. But if we check this page, we go to their homepage, then hit sitemap like this. We've got a nice little sitemap breakdown for the XML. And we can just go through the index, scrape all the pages, pop them in like that. And there we go. We've got a whole sitemap where we can easily figure out what keywords we need to go after. And there we go. Easy way to get sitemaps. What about keyword research? This is something I cover a lot in my videos. So we say, give me a keyword research tool. Let's give it a go, see what happens. So here it said, replace the example.com with the research tool. So we're gonna take Ahrefs Site Explorer and use that just to simplify things. So we'll get the URL from Ahrefs and replace that with this. So we've got the keyword research code. We can copy that code, put it into our keyword research tool, check it like this. Let's take a random keyword. For example, dogfoodadvisor.com. We'll hit keyword research like this. And all of a sudden we can see all the keywords this website is ranking for. And as you scroll down the page, you've got a breakdown of all the keywords. So if you're doing competitor analysis or you just want to check your own site, you can very quickly get suggestions for keywords and phrases to target based on the content of a web page, as well as information about search volume, keyword difficulty, competition, etc. Very easy to break down. And then rather than going to Ahrefs, clicking the dashboard, copying and pasting the URL, you save all of that messing around and clicking around and just have a very quick keyword research tool like this. So these are like nice shortcuts so you can save time, automate a lot of the work you need and get straight to the place you need to. And if you can reduce the time of each SEO task that you do, then your productivity is just gonna fly up, right? So thanks very much for watching. You now know how to create many variants of different SEO tools and shortcuts so you can easily create with just bookmarks and a bit of JavaScript. Now, if you want more lessons like this, check out my ChatGPT SEO course. I'll include all the code from the bookmarklets today and upload this video in there as well. So you've got it all there ready to go. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more ChatGPT SEO content like this. And thank you so much for watching.